Hi everyone, Ron here. What I want to do is I want to discuss a few things on the research behind Ganoderma. And where we're going to get started today is we're going to get started on Google Scholar. So we're going to go in here, we're going to be looking for articles on Ganoderma and cancer. So we go through here, we're going to hit search. And what you find here is over 5,900 results indicating uh, research on Ganoderma and cancer. Journal of Cancer 2002. Here's another one in 2003, another one in 2002. This one discusses immune function in advanced stage cancer patients. This one is about suppressing invasive uh, breast and prostate cancer cells. So there's all sorts of research that you can find on here. You can just kind of scroll down here. If you're familiar with the medical terminology, this is where you would want to look. A lot of these studies are from worldwide. So you're not going to find everything here is going to be just in English or it's going to be just limited to what's in the U.S. So it's actually a better, better source that you can find all this information. We're going to go through here. Suppose you wanted to find out about Ganoderma and diabetes. If you want to see any kind of research on this, click on it. Over 1,700 results on this. So like I said, you're going to see things on type 2 diabetes. You're going to see all these different things, the research that has been done. Life Sciences 2003. Another one in Food Science 2002. Journal of Microbiology in 2004. And suppose you want to know about Ganoderma and HIV. That's something that's not uh, people haven't really talked a lot about here but it is something that's important that they have been using in Asia. So you start looking in here, over 1,300 results will come back on this. And again, anti-HIV-1, anti-HIV-1 protein substances from Ganoderma lucidium. You're going to see where it's going to be coming from. These are in uh, 1998, in phytochemistry 1998. And 2001, it was in this one. Biochemistry, 2002. There's all sorts of research you could do just through Google Scholar alone. Now, if you actually want to look at the U.S. website, go to PubMed and it is pubmed.gov and it is the US National Library of Medicine so if you go and we type in here, we're going to type in Ganoderma you can see all the searches that people have looked for on PubMed with Ganoderma so we're going to look on Ganoderma and cancer and these results that uh, we're looking here, we got 169 results that have to do with Ganoderma and cancer on pubmed.gov and again this is the US National Library of Medicine's website so if you wanted to go through here, again, you can see the same kind of things here, anti-tumor activity. You can see all the research that is done. Scroll through here on the right-hand side, and you can see other things that are being done on it. You can see other kind of search details. You wanted to go more in-depth. Suppose you wanted to go into uh, look up Ganoderma and diabetes from here. On PubMed.gov, we have 20 articles from here. Again, so there's more kind of articles in here. These, you know, here's one in 2010. I like that. Here's, again, here's another one in 2010. So there's all sorts of research that you could do. I urge you, if you have something you want to study, have something you want to look up, take the time, go to PubMed.gov, go to Google Scholar. You can go to either one of these great websites, and you can be able to actually find the actual articles on it. Hey, guys, hope this helped you out, and have a great day.